All right, guys. So today we're gonna install the radio. Got it doubled in. Got my wiring here. I got the, the brackets and all that stuff. So we're just gonna toss this in. Should be pretty straightforward. Except for the speaker wiring that I'm gonna have to pull out probably out from that side because um, it was all running to an amp under the passenger seat. So um, yeah, so we're gonna toss that in, get this thing mounted and uh, see how it looks. Okay guys, so I got my wires. So this is the wire for the radio right here. These are the connectors for the factory Fox body harness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the speaker wires and everything here. I'm pretty sure I got heat shrink tubing here somewhere. And then, uh, then we'll start connecting the power wires and everything together. So it's nice. And then uh, we'll start putting the radio in. Um, and go from there yeah should be good okay guys so i have it sorry i have it kind of set up temporary right now um sorry i got it set up temporary you can see i'm testing it out because i'm not sure about the wiring in this and i always have an issue every time i hook a radio up i don't know what it is but it doesn't remember the settings after, like it doesn't have that constant setup probably. So we're gonna test it before I start heat shrinking everything and you know, all that stuff. So bear with me, okay? So we're gonna turn the key back. We'll see if she powers up. She's powering up, which is nice. We'll see, we've got no device. So I wanna to go to settings. See if it'll see if it'll connect to my phone. This this radio has my phone in it. So because it was in Mike's car before. So it should uh, it's not working. Okay. So it's not primary, so oh I know what the issue is. Never mind. I gotta ground out the the, uh, the background stuff. Illumination, green. Gotta have green, because the interior is green. You know what I'm saying? Green, green, illumination, green, background. We'll go with this one, I guess. Okay. And then we'll exit out. So that's what it looks like off. So what we're gonna do is actually we'll try to, we'll set the time, what time we got today? 4.40, so it's pretty close. What? What? Oh, that's the date. I'm so stupid, sorry guys. I'll be all right at some point today. So we're just gonna do this. 40, we'll put 41 for now. Uh, it's the fifth, the first now, right? So we're gonna do that and there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off and see if it recognizes, remembers. That was my biggest issue, so it's off. And then we're gonna turn it back on. Will it remember the time or does it reset itself? Ooh, it does reset itself. So I think I got it figured out. So yeah, so now we gotta work on, I'll get those heat shrunk and then I gotta work on, um, I gotta put, to get the Bluetooth to work, you have to have the, um, the parking brake wire grounded. So it thinks it's in park or whatever to get that to work. So we're gonna, I gotta do that. Also, 
I gotta get the speaker wires from under there for the fronts. And then I don't have back speakers right now. So we'll, uh, we'll get these wires sorted out and then we'll go to the door and the dash speakers and, uh, then we'll get to mounting it in the car because I haven't even drilled, got the holes where it mounts or anything. So we'll have to do all that. You have to do some, you have to make it fit. So, you know, I don't have to cut anything. I just have to drill some holes here or the screws will self tap through the plastic. So yeah. Okay guys, so my battery died in my car, like I said before, so it wasn't powering up anything. So. I got it jumped off my minivan right now. I took the battery out of my Mazda so I could connect it so we can get back to doing, dealing with this mess. So, um, I just got to find some wires. I found, I got, I'm getting all these speaker wires here ran. Um, cause the fronts, like I said, were running off different, not the factory wires. So, um, I just got to get some wires and then we can start heat shrinking that, figure out which one, I figured out which one controls the driver's side front. Now I'm going to figure out which wires are for there and then for the back. So when we actually adjust from front to back, right, left front, whatever, um, it actually goes to the side it's supposed to. So not when you try to go left front and it's like right rear, you know, when you change the fade and the balance, right? So that's what's happening right now. Um, we gotta run the wires for the USB for my charging, for my speaker, and then we gotta put the brackets on it to hold it to mount it, and then we're almost done. Wiring's a lot on an old car sometimes because things are done differently. If this didn't have, if they used the factory wiring that came for the door speakers and the tweeters and stuff, um, we just plug the connectors in and go, but because this, they ran different wires and they didn't use that stuff, and I'm not going to take it all apart to try to put it back that way. I have to, it's a little bit more work. So then just plugging connectors in and sending it. So, so yeah, so I'm just going to grab some more wire and uh, we'll get those together and uh, we'll move on to the next step with the brackets and stuff like that. So you can see the wiring, how it looks right now. And uh, yeah. All right guys, sorry, I keep getting distracted trying to do stuff. Anyways, so I have every all the wires connected with heat shrink. Um, we're just gonna tape them all together with some electrical tape to keep it nice. We have some wires for the front speakers cause they're not run off the factory system. And I gotta literally pull everything apart to put it back to the way it is. So there's just separate wires, but we're gonna make it all nice with tie wraps and get it all nice and clean so it's not like clustery. So I just wanted to show you the heat shrink. Um, I did not solder the wires. I don't have a soldering gun. So I just twisted them together tightly and then used heat shrink tubing instead of just electrical tape. Um, you wanna make sure everything's tight as possible because sometimes you'll get you know, if the wire is loose, you know, you get the static -y noise and stuff like that. So, you know, I've done this a lot of times. Soldering is the best, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes with what you have. So this is what I have. I actually just ran out of heat shrink tubing as well. So, you know, I just had enough to get this done. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to button up all the wiring, get it all nice and neat. And then we'll start putting the brackets on the side of the radio and uh, getting the radio into place. All right, guys. So I got the brackets on the side. So there's two brackets like this that go to each side. I got the wiring cleaned up as nice as I can get it. Um, I left access to the remote wire because if I'm going to put a sub in it later or whatever, I can just connect to it if I have to. Um, the car does not have an antenna right now because the fender is shaved. I gotta get one of those wireless antennas. So we'll deal with that later. So the antenna won't be hooked up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck all these wires back into the back here. Sorry, I'm getting close. Um, and then we'll get the radio sitting in its position and then we'll 
deal with the uh, the decorative plate or whatever okay all right guys so the dash is going to need some modification some trimming so on the side here to get the dash to fit or the, the radio to fit so here you can see i cut so you pretty much have to cut this extra line i know it's hard to see but that extra line sticking out right here that's got to go and this line right at the top so you can see where that line is we got to trim it all the way there to get the angle and everything we need so i got my tool out and we're gonna trim the the dash because it's not sitting probably it's like facing down i need it angled up more so we're gonna have to trim because the back of the double din is hitting the floor it won't it won't sit where i want it to sit so which is it's it's unfortunate so do some trimming and we'll see how it fits okay guys so ran into an issue so i've trimmed what i need to be trimmed i still can't get the radio to sit on the angle that i need it to sit it needs more clearance so right now i don't know if you can see it but i'm starting to clear the carpet out and the sound deadening padding that's under there to get that i don't know that space i need it's uh crazy tight i've actually been messing with it for a little bit now trying to get the angle i want and i'm actually starting to get pissed off so um yeah so i'm just gonna work on this stuff and uh we'll come back hopefully i can get it on the angle that i wanted like it just yeah it's tight so okay guys so several hours later i got pissed off these double din radios i don't know if it's just my car or what but they do not go in easy i had to modify the dash a bit i had to remove the stock sound ending from the floor to get clearance to get the angle i wanted um i had to modify the trim that goes around the heater switches to clear the 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 dress up part of the kit just to get it to sit on the angle that i wanted to sit like i don't know if they're this hard but this i can't believe it if i, I wouldn't known that i probably wouldn't have went with it but it's in finally so it's still dirty. I have to clean. There's a lot of mess in the car for me cleaning it, like taking stuff off. But it's in. It works. As you can see. And it goes good with the lights because everything's green. So. So, yeah. So, that was a bit of a chore. Um. Never done a double dim before. This is my first time. 